Welcome to ECU Masters Training Part 22. In this video, we're going to take a look at working with our engine protection features in our EMU Black software. These are going to be things such as oil temp protection, oil pressure protection, lean protection, overheating protection, among many, many others. So we're going to take a look at how to set all of them up in this video. There's going to be a lot to cover. So let's jump into this training video so we can get started. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our engine failsafe protection features in our EMU Black software. Now, before we jump into the training tutorial, make sure you have your main tuning layout open so you can follow along with what I have in the training tutorial here. You can find that under desktops, open desktops template, and then here under main tuning. So I'll be selecting that option. So I'll click cancel here because I have it loaded already. I'm going to move from my setup page and across here to the protect page. It's short for engine protection. And on here, we find all of the available fail-safe strategies we have to work with in our EMU Black. So before we talk about the actual strategies and setting them up and programming them and putting the proper values in so we have the results that we'd like, let's talk about what we have on screen here, and then we'll continue on with the tutorial. So on the left-hand side of the screen, we're going to find we have our FC reason, our fuel cut reason, and also what's going on with our ignition. So the activation status of different uh, corrections or different things that might be in place, different cuts. So the fuel cut reason here is going to be listing things like our coolant temp protection. Is it going to be a no or a yes? If it's no, the failsafe strategy or feature isn't actually implemented. And then if it's a yes, it's going to be tripping the conditions that we program for that particular protection feature, and it's going to be rev limiting or shutting down our engine. So we'll want to go and pay attention to what these are going to be doing at any given time, because if they're showing a value of yes, then we have obviously something wrong. We're exceeding a failsafe condition that we've programmed, and it's trying to limit the engine down, either shutting it down or rev limiting the engine. And we can very easily, if we're paying attention to a data log down here, we can very easily pan through and see what that status is going to be. If it changes from no to yes, then we have to evaluate the condition it's in and the sensor channel that we're working with. So for example, if our oil pressure protection is gonna be kicking in here, we can find oil pressure protection. If it goes to a value of yes, we'd have to take a look down here at some of our programming conditions and see if maybe we don't have them programmed right or if the engine actually is operating in dangerous conditions that we need to be worried about. So we also find the same kind of status down here under ignition active. It's gonna be telling us some of the corrections that are in place, but we can see here something like our ignition lambda guard. If it's going to work, in, uh, work with the lean protection and it's gonna be a spark cut, we can see that reported here. Um, we can see it's gonna be either one or the other here as far as um, giving us a status of, of what's going on. So we wanna see what's showing us condition of yes here. And this is just sort of the master checksum list of, uh, of all of the, the potential cuts. So fuel cut up top here, ignition cut right here. And then we also find our basic uh, features, the basic live data that we're always gonna be logging and taking a look at in this window here. So you're gonna be finding these are your three windows for checking through a data log. And obviously down here at the bottom, we actually have our logged information. Now within our tables here, these again are all the fail-safe strategies we have to implement. And we do have a window right down here. This is gonna be our engine protection. It's gonna be what the actual sensors will fail safe too. So if there's, let's say, an open circuit on our MAP sensor or the coolant temp sensor or the intake air temp sensor, maybe we break a wire, maybe the sensor goes bad or whatever the case may be. If we have those sensors start to read completely erratic, it could make the engine run really, really poor. If we have reasonable fail safe values for the condition where it fails and the EMU black is going to recognize that it fails, then we can have the engine still operate. This is going to be sort of a backup or a worst case scenario as far as sensor failure goes. So it doesn't completely shut off the EMU black or make it run completely erratic. So we can see right down here. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.